Hi, everybody. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Did you guys have a chance to read over the document? Not in I, depth. So, um, I just read it like very briefly. Yeah, me as well. Yeah, I read the, uh, you know, um, like what the company was about and little blurbs about all of the candidate candidates. I have an idea of, you know, who I have, like, I have a top three. So we can, like, discuss who we want to choose for the top three because we are the board of this company. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to take, like, three minutes and just go back through the candidates? Because I also didn't read them in super depth. I kind of just, like, skimmed over them. Yeah. So we can make yeah. it, like, an informed decision. Like we, yeah. Like, we all read them individually. Like, we yeah. read or the... We, by, we can read. read them together, too. It's up to y'all. I was just going to say, like, let's just take two minutes, read them, come back. Yeah, let's just that. read them individually because I think everybody has, like, their own pace. They can actually read the document and then, like, come back and... What time is it? 6.35? So let's say 6.37, 6.38. We come back. Yeah, and even, like, 6.40. I think we have some time anyway. Actually, so. yeah, 6.40 because it yeah. is... It's a, it's a lot. I think the initial blurb just detailing with the company. Yeah, that's six paragraphs right there. Yeah, so we might need a little more time, but yeah, five minutes is good. We'll be all right. All right, so see you guys in four minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. See you at seven. <laughs> ready when you guys? I'm ready to. Also ready. All right, I'm back and ready. Yep, we can get started. So, all right, so how do you guys want to do this? You guys have, all right, let's all say our top three. And, you know, we'll see whose group then has, like, the most, um, I'm sorry. We'll just, <laughs> it's been a long time. Who has the, yeah, the most in common. Or we could do or even. Like, I mean, like, time. I mean, I don't right. have a top three, but I do have a top two that I can get. Oh, you have yeah, three, also I immediate think. knows that I picked. Yeah, I was thinking we could do a tally. Like, you know, like, yeah. you know, Frank one, Frank or John three, Harold four. And then we'll all, we'll see who has like the top, you know, the, the like the highest scores. And we can go off of that and then see, you know, what we why we think these two people or you know i don't know if i'm making any sense i'm sorry <laughs> am i making sense don't make sense yeah no no that makes sense I think all right so better. let's go down the list um all right the first contender was robert k andrews did anybody like robert at all i liked him i didn't hate him he's not my top okay so we're sorry robert you're out of the running yeah, so, he's not immediately. I think no. he's just a bit too old since he's like around sixty, close to okay. retirement. Like, I agree. I was just like nothing. Like, seems like you know he has a great life, and I think that's amazing for him, but not for his position. Yeah, yeah I, actually, relevant I do information, think. I think. I do think that he has a good balance though, um, with marketing, finance, operations, and high level general management. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean. He's not my top. Really he's not my no. top, but I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I don't hate any of the candidates, really. I don't think. Um, oh, I there's just... a few I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the second was Harold. Harold is actually my number two. I like Harold. No. Oh my God. No. It was opposite. I wrote immediately <laughs> no next to Harold. Okay. So yeah, this is when we have the. Why do you. I like also wrote Harold? immediately no. Because it Here's... said extremely intoxicated off the job. So yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I misread that completely. I misread that completely. Why did I read that as completely? It's like like he was like he loved oh, he the job. Oh, he loves so the job. He's he was intoxicated, uh, intoxicated by it. That's so, no, okay. he's an alcoholic, honey. Uh, all right. Harold is <laughs> yeah, never mind. I know that <laughs> never mind, Harold. I was just like, wow, he's <laughs> intoxicated by his job. I love that. All right. No. <laughs> never mind. Oh, that was so All funny. Right. I love that. So the next one would be Franklin. Franklin is my number one. I nice. like Franklin. All right. So 
I he, also enjoyed Franklin. Yeah. He's, he's my number two. I like him because I think he's one the underdog. He's the only minority, and with big companies like this, that's what they look for. Not like a diversity hire because it's not that, but they definitely are always looking to mm -hmm. bring in, I guess, some sort of inclusivity. And then the fact that you know he has daughters, I was like, okay, that's really admirable. He's a dad, <laughs> you know. And then yeah. he has his BA from Fisk, an MBA from Harvard. Yeah, that's what stood out to me, too. The NBA His wife Harvard. is a television newscaster with a national reputation. I was also thinking, like, in a marketing aspect, I'm like, that's really good because we have, like, an insider who, I'm not going to say she'll, like, spin the stories in our way, but, like, in our favor. But, you know, if we have any issues with the company, she can be like, oh, I hear that this company is, like, a bomb because my husband works there. I don't know. I did put him at kind of the bottom, though, only because I know he has a lot of good things, but, like, I feel like a CEO needs to have like the either like finance part or market like some like specific thing that they're good at. You know what I mean? I you think? Like I didn't think so. I mean, honestly, I didn't think so, Rowan, because I'm like, nowadays it doesn't really take much to not it doesn't yeah, take much to run a company. That's not what I'm saying, but it doesn't take a lot of like these key qualifications. I feel like we've been hearing about throughout this course how important it is just to be a good leader yeah i guess and so. i mean i just felt like he seemed like a good leader he's a father all yeah. of it and he so. also it says that a lot of the top managers um regularly seek his counsel so it seems like he's already well respected within the company um the only thing that i marked as like a negative here is that he hasn't had a health examination for five years um i mean could end up being a problem if we hire him and then something happens like something happens. Yeah. Uh, I marked that too also he loves motorcycles not that anything's wrong with that but it's a very dangerous hobby um yeah yeah he was my I number mean, two though like I don't not like him he was my yeah two. all right so so but are we no Franklin are we like we're still considering him we're considering him oh yeah yeah, yeah. I think he's number one. yeah all right, the next contender is Joanne. Love her. She was my number two. She yeah, number two as well. I won. She was actually my number four, but not because I did. Like, she would be my number. She would have been my number three, actually, if I would have properly read all the information about Harold. <laughs> so <laughs> let's just say she's my number three. But I do okay. like her. I think she has really good qualities. Um, a BA from Vassar. She went to Yale, NYU, married. He was the head of an aviation agency for three years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. She speaks Japanese. That was my number one. Because yeah. if you go back up, the airline is known, has plans to extend its service to Singapore, Jakarta, Manala, Shanghai, and Tokyo. So I think it would yeah. be really oh. helpful to have somebody who speaks Japanese. Okay, that's Ooh. actually a very good point. I'm gonna like make note of she that. He dresses conservatively, which is pretty. So I noticed that cultures over there. Yeah, that was something I that stuck out to me was the dressing conservatively part, because I'm like, to run a company, period, you have to like uphold a certain standard. And I mean, if you even look at today's climate, people were talking about how Kamala Harris, you know, dresses in suits and stuff, and like heavy suits because. It puts makes you know people take her more seriously that way instead of if she was in a pencil skirt or a more fitted suit. So that's actually a very good key point. So Joanne, okay, okay, I like Joanne. <laughs> We're gonna okay. So right now we have Franklin and Joanne for the running. She's innovative too. You want a leader that is open to new ideas. That tells me she's open minded. I know we don't know a lot about her health. But she has high energy levels. She's jogging two miles a day. Like, you have to be in some sort of proper health. I mean, anybody can drop at any moment, right? Not to be that person that says that. But, I mean, typically, if you're jogging two miles a day and you have a high energy level, you can speak fluent Japanese. Um, yeah. So you can help expand the company. You're innovative. You can you dress conservatively, which is pretty valued overseas in cultures. Like, um Japanese and Chinese so I don't know she was my number one okay okay wait and I'm just making note we said no to Robert when he was in an immediate no yeah 
Okay. All right. Yeah. So the next person, what were you saying? I'm sorry. No, I was saying you were right. Okay. So I'm just going to cross Robert out. All right. So the next we have Edward J. Edgerton. He was my top guy. He was fine. He didn't really stick out to me. Well, he did have a career as a CFO. So I feel like he does have a career, like an experience in marketing. So I picked him just because like he seemed like the only candidate who had like a C-suite level in their name. So I thought that maybe he had some experience of being, you know, in that level of a job. So that's and fair. he had both financials and marketing, which is like two large aspects of a company. Um, just from a company, but I guess personality wise, I didn't really see much other yeah, than I mean, like he just did two years things. at the company as well. So that's yeah. also impressive. Yeah. Are we on Edward or John? Sorry. Edward. Edward. Okay. I was gonna say before I say something. Um yeah, I, I put that he was okay. Yeah, he just didn't seem that exciting to me. But I mean he, yeah. he seemed good. He Very seemed bland. Good. He seemed stable, so I thought he was yeah, like, he, okay. he seems well respected at least in the airline industry. He frequently testifies before Congress. So he seems like somebody who in the industry he's gonna be uh people are gonna know who he is. Um and he might get some recognition just because of his name and um, all the yeah. things he's done so far. I feel like technically he might be the most qualified, but like personality wise, it doesn't say much like that he has to bring to the table. So it's important for both. So depending on, you know, he's also currently the CFO. So it's not yeah. terrible to leave him where he is. That's yeah. true. So this is a controversial one. I don't know. It might not be. The next one would be John. Okay, so we're keeping Edward on as a contender. That's I'm just gonna say that. John yeah. Fulmer. Now, mm -hmm. yes. He okay, so this no. is the thing. I knew you guys were gonna say that. That's why I said it was gonna be probably sort of contro controversial. Now, yes, he has no plans on having children. He's been divorced several times and he's in debt because of that. But I don't think any of that has to do with any of his work ability. I feel like he's in debt because of the many divorces. But it says here that he was he was uh wait, doesn't he have like health issues though too? Yeah, he had a heart attack yeah. several years ago. He pilots his own plane. That's why he's yeah. in debt. <laughs> I mean, it could be, you know, a lot of things, but I was looking at says throughout his career he has been highly regarded by superiors, peers, and subordinates. Almost he's to the not point an American citizen. Bigger than an American company. That that doesn't work. I know. I mean, I know. I don't know. Is I that like a deal breaker? There, it's not a great look. To but he's been with the company for twenty years, basically. I feel I like know, he's like a candidate, but he just has a lot of red flags, like with his health, financial, and everything. That makes a huge impact on someone. I think. Fair. Yeah. The, what's it called? The caveat. I'm gonna throw in a caveat. We would if you're like interviewing. I feel like you wouldn't know these things about people, though. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't know that some of them are alcoholics. You wouldn't know that some of them have been through divorces. So I don't know if we like they work here though. They work yeah, with us. Probably but not. Like, would we have no? I don't know. Like, so I feel like some people keep that secret. You know, I don't know. I guess that's a good point if they work there. But like, there. All right. Well, John's a no. All right. Now, lastly, we have Skip. Now, I know you guys are going to say Skip is an immediate no. Correct? Does anybody like Skip? Yes, I did not put him. No. Okay. I'm not excited for him. I do, Okay, I was thinking, okay, maybe, I'm really thinking of, like, politically. Like, here. He, like, first, I like his little, his come up. Like, yes, he's terrible. He has terrible work ethic, but, like, he when he wants something, it's apparent that he gets it done. Um, but also, it says he is a recovered alcoholic. Oh, he has skin cancer. No, I, didn't. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I never didn't that his father was the co-founder. Yeah. Never but I that. like that it says that, you know, he dines occasionally with the president, who's That's a person who's friend. Yeah. Depending on the president. Depending uh... on the president. But Depending if the president on the goes president. down, you go down with him. Your stock drops with him. 
<laughs> okay, that's true. But I was more so thinking like, you know, it's a good friends in high places sort of situation, but you do have a point. No, I follow you. I follow you, right? You would think like, okay, if we need things done, like we want somebody that's gotten in with the president. But if you think about it from like a marketing standpoint, I don't think it's that good to be friends with the president. The president always has media, any president has media that comes high and low, high and low, high and low. And if our CEO is besties with the president, if the president's media goes high and low, our stock goes high and low, high and low. And then we're too volatile. And then also if other countries don't like the president and we're friends with the president, then how are we going to expand internationally? They don't want anything to do with it. I think he is a risk. And, and also they, left, people will left call the company nepotism. multiple times on unpaid leave just to like travel. So like it doesn't seem like he's the type of guy who's really going to. I mean, it's so like he's living his best life, but sure, you're right. It's like for the sake of the company. Yeah, I can definitely see how those can be negatives. Okay. So, I mean, we have a top three, which is good. We have Franklin, Joanne, and Edward. So now we just need to get to a top two. <laughs> so, who do we like the least? Uh, my top two is Edward and... No, wait, not Edward. Um, Franklin and Joanne. And mine was Edward and Joanne. All right. I'm going to do a tally one second before anybody says anything else. So I want to reread them really quick, just the three of them. Okay. Franklin. Edward. Joanne. Okay. I skimmed them. I'm Joanne number one, Edward as her successor. Okay. And you said, Jessica, you were Franklin and Joanne? Yeah. Like, I think I'm leaning more towards Joanne, but I'm like iffy on Franklin first, I think. Okay. And Julia, what do you say? I'm saying, I think Edward and then Joanne. Okay. And what about you, Nick? I think Edward and Joanne are basically interchangeable. Um, I like Franklin, but his health uh, history is a little bit problematic. So if we go with either Franklin or Joanne, I think Edward would have to be um, like the backup because we need, I mean, in my opinion, we need to know that this person is going to be um, around for the next few years. So. That's fair. So right now, because I, I, I'm i still on the fence. So right now, Joanne's making it regardless. And it also seems, yeah. I like Franklin. Let me look back again. Mm. Has not had a health examination for five years, but has no care. Problems. Like he doesn't have problems, but also we don't know because he's never been to the doctors. Um, I don't know. I do like him. But Edward, oh, all right, I'm going to have to go against my number one. I'm going to say Joanne and Edward. I don't know who, honestly, I'd say give it to Joanne, though. As, Joanne and Edward know, will be a team. Keep that in mind, Nasir. Cause, you know, but we have to say that we have to, wait, I'm thinking president and vice president, right? Mm -hmm. like you are, but when they worked, but the president and the CFO are like this in a company. Yeah. So if we put Joanne as a CEO, we still have Edward. We're not firing him. We mm -hmm. still have him as the CFO. If she leaves, she, he can success her. And then we could put Franklin as the CFO because he has a great financial background. It's fair. I know, they, I know that we weren't told we could have three, but we would have to <laughs> fill his spot, his spot yeah. if Very he true. successed her. All right, so right now, Joanne as number one, want. Edward as our backup. Mm -hmm. I'll go with that. All right. So, do we call the professor back then? <laughs> mm -hmm. He said he would be back. Okay. If he was stepping away and coming back. I'm here. <laughs> I was, okay, just, he's here. <laughs> I was just waiting to make sure everyone agreed. I, I, I wasn't sure everyone agreed. Yes, I think we're on the same page. I, 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 I don't think I heard Nick or Julia say 
That's the yeah, I, I oh, agree sorry, with yes. oh, Owen and Edward, yeah. Okay. Yes, I said I did have Edward and then Joanne, but I agree. If the team agrees, that should be Joanne. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure you uh, everyone was certain that those were your two. Everyone agreed. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure of that in groups. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Actually, I'm going to put it on pause. I've recorded this. And 